So today, if you remember, if you're just tuning in and you didn't see it, you can watch yesterday's video. If not, we're going to make chicken pie today with the other half of the chicken that was left over from yesterday. So the whole point of the, the video was to show how you can get two meals out of a chicken, okay? So yesterday we poached the chicken whole, okay? You remember? And then we picked all the meat off the bone. So we've got all the leg meat and the breast meat there. And then we actually kept the vegetables from when we poached the chicken as well. Now, you could throw those away, but you could use them. We're going to use them today. I also, uh, before we came on, I um, peeled and cut some potatoes and cooked them just like three quarters of the way through. So now today we're going to make chicken pie. One of KK's absolute favourites. KK? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He likes it. Well, I don't know why you wouldn't like chicken pie. Who doesn't like chicken pie? It's impossible that you don't like chicken pie. Huh? I mean, it might not be pulling the breast that you're used to. What's that? Anyway, don't worry about it. Right, okay, KK, first job for you, mushrooms. There's no knives involved until the end, so they should reduce the possibility of an accident. Okay, pop out the, the, the core and beautifully peel the mushroom. It's very therapeutic, it's, it's relaxing, it's nice. And meanwhile, I... I'm going to take some bacon, okay? So we're going to start this journey with some bacon. Now, bacon is often used in cooking for the starting of sauces, stews, pies, all those kind of things. So we're going to cut the bacon into a nice dice, like so. And we're going to get ready to fry that. Okay. How's it going? Yes. Enjoying the mushrooms? Yeah, it's quite therapeutic, relaxing, spiritual, you know, father and son time together, peeling mushroom, Are you enjoying it. Right, so once you peel the mushrooms, you're going to cut them into quarters or six, depending on the size. And we're going to get that already cakey. Now, I'm sure you were paying attention yesterday when I did the poached chicken and nobody would join me. But these are the carrots that were left over from the poached chicken. Now, if you're just tuning in and you're going to make the chicken pie, don't stress. You can just cook off your carrots separately and you can just follow the same kind of uh, rules. Now, we've got in there, we've got some leek and onion. The whole point of keeping the veg was to show you that you can really bulk out a meal and make it very economical from nothing really. Okay. Oh, I cut uh, how do you feel about the cutting? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think you can do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes, no. Okay. Good luck, KK. I will go and start the baking. Alright? How's that going? Good. Mm -hmm. That's it. Good. You see anything else apart from good? Um. No. No. Okay. Good. Brilliant. A gold star for Kiki. Well done. He's got enthusiasm, he's got devotion, he's got passion, he's got pride. If you put as much into your cooking as you do into your football, we would all be fine. <laughs> right, come on, you big donut. Right, let's go. Right. I'm determined that you learn how to cook. A dash! Jesus Christ! Now we have a dash of oil in the pan. We're going to add the bacon, KK, okay? And remember, it's going to spit. And when you pop it in, you want to just separate it a little bit, okay? But a little bit faster, the bigger. Right? It will spit, I say. You can do more than one at a time. You can do a map in the middle. 
Move it faster. Try and get it in the pan. Mm -hmm. Now bacon is normally something you're quite interested in. Huh? A bacon button. You like a bacon button? No? Yeah. A little bit of coloration. So as you can see, as the bacon's cooking, the, the fat of the pork is coming out, which is flavour. Yes? Right. Mushrooms in. Okay. Okay. Mushroom cooking KK. A little bit of salt, please. And we had a little knob of butter. Now, remember yesterday when we did the poached chicken, we kept the we, we divided the chicken stock into two. So I've kept the chicken stock there, and I've just warmed that. And I've added another butter there. And you can see that's cooking nicely. I'm going to add the vegetables from yesterday. And the whole point is that I'm feeling, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bulk, what we call bulk out the meal. Okay, so we've got the carrots, we've got the mushrooms, we've got the leeks. We're going to add the potatoes soon. And now, KK, we're going to add a little bit of flour. Just to thicken it, which is going to thicken the sauce a little bit. Okay, can you get the potatoes for me please, KK? And now we just need to gently, okay, now we just need to cook out the flour a little bit. And the white wine, KK? A dash, please, not a night out. No, there you go. A bit more. That's it, perfect. Okay, so now you can see we've, we've cooked out the, uh, the flour a little bit and the flour has thickened that gently. So we're going to add a little bit of the lovely stock that we had from yesterday. Okay, and we're going to bring that up to the boil. Now, we're going to add some cream or some uh, sour cream or creme fraiche, whatever you have at home. And we've got a little bit of both, so I need to use up both, so I'm going to add a bit of cream. Like so. And I've got a little bit of creme fraiche left from yesterday, which is nice. It's got that kind of lemony sour. And if you don't want to just use cream, this is a great alternative. Or sour cream. Now, get your spatula around all around okay and then we're going to have a taste cake because as we've talked about how important it is to taste as we're going along Actually tastes really good. Do you know what's really, really important there? <laughs> is the bacon. The bacon gives such a lovely smoky flavour to the dish. So we're just bringing that up to the boil there as well. Okay, so now we've got the, the tatties. And now this is completely optional, but I'm just trying to bulk it out to show you that, you know, you can get this meal to go pretty far. Get the tatties in that. And then... Okay, so look at that, you got that, and the, like I said, the bacon flavour is so, so important. It gives it such a lovely thing. Now we're just going to let that cook until it starts to thicken. And now you can see it's really starting to thicken there. We're going to add the chicken that we picked yesterday. Now if you need to bulk this out, you could. You would do exactly the same with a, with a, with a ham pie. If you had some leftover ham, you could do exactly the same. Or any other meat, really. 
So we're really nearly ready to take that off. Right, check it. So you've got the base of the pie there. Okay. Now, if I had some grain mustard, I would use some grain, but I've got a little bit of Dijon. Again, this is optional, but I think it will bring a really nice flavor to the pie. Okay. I know a lot of people uh, on here are missing uh, the famous uh, pies at the Scran and Scally. Um, and we, uh, us Brits, we do love a pie. Anything with pastry on seems to be really popular, from Cornish pastry to the steak pie, you know, um, anything's popular. So, so hopefully this one will hit a note with you. So if I had some tarragon or some thyme leaves, I would add that. Tarragon goes really well with chicken, but I don't. I've only got parsley, so I'm just going to chop the parsley. Through like so, and pop that in, and that does look delicious. Delicious. So now the chicken's cooled nicely, um, we're going to start to make the pie. Okay, so this is great if you can get this done a, a little bit in advance because it's really good if the, the pie can rest and the pastry can rest in the fridge for a while. Um, you could, if you're feeling adventurous, you could make your own short husk pastry. Um, or of course buy it in, but today we're going to use puff pastry and now we are going to learn how to separate the egg yolk from the white, okay? Tap your egg, separate your two shells, keeping the yolk into one side, into the other, transferring the yolk from one to the other, letting the white drop into, no, but white in there. Yolk in there. Okay, use your finger. That's it. Pull it off. Brilliant, KK. <laughs> anyway, not to worry. We can <laughs> we can scoop this out. Okay, like so. Okay, a little trick for you. Sometimes when you're baking at home and you get eggshell in your in your whites and then you try and chase it around the bowl. All you need to do is take your other eggshell. If you see it from this angle, this goes in and the eggshell reconnects and you can pull it out. Bingo. Eh. Eh. Big man. Eh. Right, okay, don't worry KK, it's nearly finished. Okay, pie, all the lovely chicken pie in there. Lovely. We're gonna start to work with the pastry, okay? So first we're gonna do a little rim around the pie, KK, like you. To brush around the edge of the pie. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, brilliant. So now we're going to create a little layer, a ledge around the pie, KK. And then tuck over the edges. That is perfecto. Brilliant. Egg wash. The pastry, again, please, KK. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, we are not quite wide enough there. So we're just gonna... So the pastry is too thick there. Okay. Now, Mr. KK, mm -hmm. come. I'm going to put the pastry on the pin. Roll the pin. And up. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to cover it all across the pie. Okay. Carefully, that's it, that's it. Okay, roll it off. 
We can make, shall we make a Kiki Desperate Dan Pie? Are we going to do it? Come. No, you're not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay. Now, with the rest of the pastry, we can design a little something to go on top. Can I design that? What would you like to design? A smiley face. A smiley face. Okay, there you go. Can I just go like this? Yeah, but do it in the corner so we, you know, we in, just in case we have to take two. What is that? Shocking. That's a good No! Okay, we'll do some nice leaves. Okay. Magic. Okay. And then we're just gonna tuck them in. Okay. Lovely. Magic. Okay, now I'd like you to brush the pie piece because that brush is rubbish you can just rub it with your fingers don't pierce a hole mm. apologies if Chris my pastry chef is watching huh? okay oh my goodness don't make a hole. <sighs> so you made a hole. Yeah, that was nice. It was an accident. Well, that's okay then. <laughs> huh? As long as it was an accident. Right, out, get, get your big fingers out. Right, okay, because you made a hole, I'm going to make a hole as well. Okay, yeah. so we're going to make a chimney, so I'm going to roll that around the pastry brush, like so. We can pop that into the pie. KK. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now we've got your beautiful leaves. Okay. It looks nice. And then we pop the egg wash. To the fridge, KK. Ready to cook later on. Wednesday evening, um, KK and I made the pie this morning, which was great. And we put the pastry on, we egg washed it, we made this beautiful design. And yeah, meanwhile, like um, we're just about to settle down for MasterChef, so we're going to get the pie in the oven. Uh, tonight, last seven, and so... <clears throat> chefs, on, I'm on the telly tonight, big man, I'm on the telly. Meanwhile, K um, KK has been doing his football training on Zoom in the garden, which was quite an experience, wasn't it? It was good. It was good. So big shout out for Kenny, the coach, legend. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, while you were doing that, I was emptying the dishwasher for the probably the 20th time today. That's all I seem to do is cook, clean, dishwasher. Cook, clean, dishwasher. Well, when are you going to do the dishwasher? I do. <laughs> he does, he does, he does. Right. Okay, so Kiki's done a lovely design. We're going to egg wash it, which means that the pastry, just before it goes in, we're going to egg wash it like we are now. And that's going to help it go lovely and crispy, have a lovely shine. And because everything's cooked in there already, we're really just concentrating on getting the pastry cooked and making sure everything's hot. So we're ready to go, Kiki? Yep. In the oven, big man, 200 degrees, 30 minutes. Off you go. Nice technique. Here we go. The kids have left me. Kiki's not having any more. He's given up. Look at that. A pie for champions. Pie for champions. Now, remember, one whole chicken, 
We got the incredible broth that we made yesterday, which was unbelievable. Super tasty, super healthy, fills you up, the noodles and everything. We kept all the vegetables, we shredded the other half of the chicken, we bulked it out with all the other vegetables today, and we made a great pie. Give it a go.